Remember to look both ways when crossing the street because you might get hit by a car. Oh! 
kittens. I want you home in time for dinner. We're having your favorite, um, a six-course turkey dinner. Doesn't that sound yummy? Now go out and play nicey-nicey. Bosh! <sighs> Gee, you sure seem to have a swell life. It must be neat to be so well-fed and loved by that old lady. You think so, do you? Huh? Is that right? Huh? Hey, right this way, man. You go ahead, chow down, have some dinner. <laughs> Take my place at the table. I've had plenty. Plenty, I tell you. Uh, maybe too much. Yeah, I'm out of here. I got a bus to catch, man. Well, golly, thanks, Mr. Mittens. Huh? Oh, there you are, Mittens. That's enough playtime. It's time for my little boopsie boopsie to have his din din. Mittens? Mittens? Oh, why, you've lost your mittens, you naughty kitten, you. Now you shall have no pie. Ah, just kidding. Of course you can have pie, but first we better wash up. Now you sit right here in the sink, Mittens. <gasps> These dang faucets! Don't tell me the water's cut off again! Mm. Oh, well, we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Now, where's that soap? Uh, must use lots of soap. Here it is by the butter. We'll just scrub you up nice and frisky. you eat. First, we have to take our medicine. There, now those are easier to swallow than those old big pills. Oh, mustn't forget our eardrops. Now I know you like this one least of all, but if you want to get better, we'll just have to get it over with quickly. It certainly is a madhouse in here today. Yeah, uh, well, you go ahead and dig in. <clears throat> Hello. If you would like Hello. To call, Hello. Again. Hello. 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 Who is this? Uh, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, no. <laughs> Those crazy youngsters, so full of mischief. <laughs> well, Mittens, we may as well start eating. Heavens, it appears those pesky rabies have returned again. <laughs> well, 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 we had better just bundle you right up and get you to the vet. <laughs> you sit here, Mittens, where you'll be nice and safe. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, well, for tackle me. Ah! Oh, dang the soldier nothing. You're perfect, my sweet. I've been looking for a beauty like you all my life. <laughs> oh, I hear you growling back there, Mommy's little winky boy. Yeah, we're almost there. I'm tough. Coffee's done, Jim. Thanks, Ed. Phew. Let's
Let's get them. We better call for an airstrike. Then we'll need more coffee, Jim. Blacker. This is Eagle One. I've got the Rapscallion in my sights. Mess with my buddy's chocolate frosting, will you, punk? Ah! Ah! Oh, jangle nerves, eh? Mommy's little monkey boy. Well, maybe some music will help. <laughs> Never understand this rock and roll thing. Yeah, which just sounds like noise to me, but uh,
everybody relax. We got this thing here. It's called a parachute, and it's going to save our lives. Gee, thanks for the ride, Mr. Dolphin, but I... Ring bell for receptionist. Um, oh, now maybe I can get a little help around here. Ah! place for a kitty? There's a nice old lady been looking all over for you. Oh, there you are, Mittens. I was mm. looking all mm. over for you. Oh, my little pokey pokey. So <gasps> here's my little monkey boy, Mittens. Gee, lady, the little guy looks okay to me. Oh, you hear that, Mittens? Oh, you're all better. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's get you home for that turkey dinner. <laughs> Now, you just go ahead and start, Mittens. I just want to stuff this tuna with your favorite ice cream. Yeah, uh, how's like pralines and cream? Oh, be a danger and get that, will you, Pokey Pokey dear? Kumbaya, I wonder who that could be. Hey there, how you doing, man? Great having you. Enjoy your din, din I tell you, man, it's a jungle out there. Hush, man, hush! You really gotta appreciate what you have, man. Great seeing you. Bye-bye! Well, my, my, Mittens, you must have been starving. Sheesh, maybe Mittens was right. Maybe I should be thankful for what I have. I mean, I have my own family and a nice home. Yeah, and besides, I got to meet a very nice and caring old lady and... Hey! <laughs> Kumbaya, it looks like my family really noticed I was gone. Wow, I guess they like me. <laughs> they really, really like me. Yippee! Huh? Yay! Hey, Eat Man, where are you going? I forgot to offer you an after dinner, man. Put it in great. <laughs> no. You make a beautiful gesture, and these are the thanks you get. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know, I hate to be a gloating Nora here, but today's turning out to be just so exciting with Super Mom Mania all morning long. It's an idea whose time has come, don't you know? Now, what in the world do you suppose the G Golly Tiny Toons are up to today? Oh, for Jiminy's sake. To find out, you just can't miss Tiny Toon Adventures next as Super Mom Mania continues on Fox.
But since you've had me working on this stupid thing for the last three months, we may as well try it out. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, please, slow down. The wind is messing up my hair. Gee, I don't get it. I thought I had this all figured out. Well, Scooter, obviously you didn't, and once again, you've completely wasted our time. I'm so close, I can just feel it! What could it be? I'll be under this rubber tree while you spin your wheels trying to figure out what went wrong this time. I'm really tired of this. Oh, well, I guess I should just start all over again. You do that, genius. Wake me up when you're done. Wait. When does the hurting stop? Can't you find a more pleasant way to wake me up? That wasn't me, Bill. It was a... Quite the tasty shot, squat. We aim to please, Doc. Let's move out, boys. We'll make a beeline, so to speak, right for those ridiculous humans. I can't wait to have the fat one stuffed and mounted in the game room. <laughs> yeah! Okay, okay. These round things were in. Give me an idea. Will this idea make the ground softer when we hit it? No. Then will you do me a little favor, Scooter? Sure, Bill. Just shut up! jumping all over the place. I don't like these humans. Every time we think we figure them out, we discover some new incredible power they possess. <laughs> well, they're about to meet the incredible power I possess. Listen, they're close. Very close. They are right on top of us. Are you sure? Are you convinced now? Sort of. Blast them all! Let the archaeologists sort them out! Oh. oh, don't you see, Bill? Don't you get it? This tire fruit. The automobile that wouldn't go. These trees that stopped us. This fruit that rolls. It all makes sense now, okay? I finally figured out what these are really for. Watch. Whee! It's a tire swing. Come on. Try it, it's fun! <laughs> hey, this is great! Whee! <laughs> Look, Bill! I can go higher than the big golden hot thing in the sky! Good, Scooter! If only you would disappear like the big hot golden thing in the sky at the end of the day!
Well, hello to you too. This way, I can smell them. Those stupid humans, they've run out of places to hide. We'll make pate out of them, man! What are we gonna do? What the heck are we gonna do? Don't ever do that again. Ah! <laughs> oh, we must have blown them sky high, man! Yeah! Vaporize them! I think we can call General Galapagos and tell him the good news. Come in, Thunder Lizards. What do you have to report? Our mission is accomplished, General. We have finally done away with those pesky humans. Behind you, Doc. We know you've always been behind us, General, and we just want to say we appreciate it. We realize there were times when... No, Doc! Behind you! Look behind you! <gasps> Whoever rules the skies, rules the world. Can it get worse? I am afraid it can, my friends. You see, this water we're standing in, it's a tar pit. Ooh, that is bad. Ah! Isn't this great? I don't like this. Why couldn't you have befriended something closer to the ground, a slower moving, like a sloth or a tortoise or a postal worker? Okay, okay, I have a plan. We can be more comfortable, okay? Wee! You can't beat this. I knew my automobile would come in handy one day. I don't know, I still think this is dangerous. Come on, it's fun. Let's just enjoy the ride. Okay, okay. Remind me to invent seatbelts, okay? <laughs> See? This is fun! Okay! And way up here, we don't have to worry about those mean old lizards. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's time for those batty humans to feel the sting of our bee cannons. They're caught on a limb, so we'll just make them leave. It's coming! Outstanding flying cutter. Thanks, Doc. Okay, squad, you can let those B-bombs go now. Uh, gee, guys, I already did. Well, pray tell, squad, where did they go? Shoots. Well, uh, not exactly, Doc. Oh? Yeah, Doc, uh, Squat and I were gonna surprise you. We took our parachutes in to get our names, uh, embroidered on them. They should be back by Monday. Kata, do you have your utility mallet with you? I'm sorry. We had a wonderful time. Nice folk. Boy, I sure do like flying. It'll be even more fun when I invent stewardesses. Forget it! Flying is for the pterosaurs. Humans aren't meant to fly. If you don't mind, I'd like to stay on the ground for a while, okay, Orville? Let's just get out of here. Oh, no, no, no! We're
We're not done yet. No, no, no. There's a whole other part to this adventure, Mr. Big Hurry. I call it a luggage carousel. Okay? See, after you fly, you come to one of these and wait for your luggage. Isn't this great? When does the hurting stop? Anywhere, just rocks. Oh no, Mr. Man. No more eating rocks. I brought you some real food. Spit it out. Come on now, Bill. Spit it out. Food, Scooter. You brought me some real food? Enough to last a lifetime. Look. We'll call it a seed. This little baby will end our food needs forever. Ooh, yum, a seed. Oh, this glorious food! Surely you and I can't eat all of this! <laughs> you don't eat the seed, Bill. You plant it. You see? Oh, I see. We feed the mud our seed while we starve. Innovative! The seed grows into a huge plant full of fruit. We eat the fruit. Oh boy, look at it go! Why, we're just in seed heaven, aren't we? I barely notice my ravaging appetite tearing me apart from the inside out and all the excitement of waiting for this, this seed to grow! First, we gotta add water, silly man. Water. What does water? <laughs> is the last chance for you three. If you don't capture the humans, I'll have no choice but to throw your sorry tails back into Jurassic Penitentiary. The termination of these two humans is an important military objective. You've treated it like some sort of a... a tea party. We're doing our best, General Galapagos, but see, those sneaky humans have taken refuge in the X-Zone. That's Thugasaur country, man. I mean, General? Man? Sir? The X-Zone is lush and overly foliated, making it treacherous for our search and destroy tactics. We often become lost. Well, that's why I've hired a little help, Doc. Someone who knows his way around the X-Zone and doesn't get lost! Gentle sores, say hello to the greatest tracker on Earth. Mr. T. Rex. Pity the fools that can't catch a couple itty bitty squishy little bat heads. You call yourselves terrible? You think you got thunder? Uh, yeah. You don't look so terrible to me. Maybe I should call you something else. When I was younger, my mom used to call me Mushy Snuggle Bites. If you're more comfortable with that, I, uh... From now on, Mushy Snuggle Bites, you take orders from me. I'm the greatest dinosaur tracker of all time. I got a nose like a blood hinosaurus. And probably just as many fleas. What? I said, uh, please, please, go on. I will not become lost. I will lead you right where you need to go. If when you get there, it isn't where you want to be, you never need to be there in the first place. Prepare to be hypnotized and dazzled by my keen sense of direction. Now let's move out. This is my closet. The door is over there. Are you trying to be funny? Of course it's the closet. I was testing my night vision. I always test my night vision before a mission. I pay the fool with no night vision. Mushy snuggle bites. I smell humans. They're close. They smell bad. Real bad. Walk from here. 
It'll be quieter. Don't need no loud noises giving our position away. Now I just gotta get a scent of these pitiful humans. Hey guys, check it out! <laughs> yeah, squat. That Mr. T-Rex is a real crack up. No ands, ifs, or buts. <laughs> Who one of you fools wanna share what's so funny? Huh? Anyone? Yeah, well, we would, but... But? but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna waste my punches on you three. I pity you three. The real fight's out there with the humans. <laughs> I pity the humans. This way. <laughs> <laughs> No more! I'll watch no more! You are wise and hideous one. You do not have to see any more to know those thunder lizards are up to something. No, I'll watch no more because my soap is on. We now return to As the Glacier Turns. Caroline, darling, I'd love to discuss this, but I'm sinking in a top pit. Biff, I want you to organize a little welcoming committee for those thunder lizards. I want them taken alive so I can inflict unspeakable suffering on them. Ooh, another slideshow of your day at the Driftwood Festival? <laughs> See, Bill, I call it a garden. One day it will be full of food. We'll call it the Garden of Eating. Well, maybe this garden thing is such a stupid idea after all. Oh, scooter? But, but what kind of uh, plants are these, anyway? Huh? I'm not sure. I just call them Venus flytraps. What is it with you thunder lizards? I'm hot on the trail, and you fools move like a snail. Squat has a pebble in his foot. We can't leave him behind. Why don't you just pull the pebble from the fool's foot? Hey, it's a good idea. It's worth a shot. I pity myself that I gotta be with these fools. Hey! My gold! My precious gold! I pity the fool that set this trap. Have no pity on us, Mr. T-Rex. When it's you who is about to become a dino pinata. Afraid not, Thuggasaurs. It's time for a little game called Kick the Tail of the Bone Boys. Come on, Lizard. <laughs> Cottleage breath had enough? <laughs> well, yes. Squat, cut him down. Hey! How hard was that, huh? Fools, they're right there. I pity the humans. They just came up against Mr. T Rex. Do you hear something? Don't tell me. It's a wild gang of dandelions on their way to mug us! No, it's a... Bean grenade! Hey, look, guys. Our fresh solid fruit. I get the nose. face this time <laughs> we'll make the hurting stop now glad to see you came out of your shell buddy <laughs> look at that they mock us with that strange dance this is the last pitiful dance those humans are gonna do i got those fools in sight i said i got them fool now move aside thunder lizard um, Mr. T-Rex, sir, we're, uh, we're over here, sir. Then who's the fool that's blocking my sights? <laughs> you wanna play games with me, you photosynthesized fool? Wow! Put me down! I pay the fool plant that tries to eat Mr. T-Rex! Thunder Lizard, get some weed killer! Come save me! You hear me? Thunder Lizard, hey! 
free than the lizards! Well, guys, we may not like him, but he is a soldier like us. And you know the Thunder Lizard motto, no dino gets left behind. We better go save Mr. T-Rex. Thunder Lizards! If I ever get my hands on you, I pity you fools! We just don't have to go too fast, right, Doc? <laughs> Greetings, friends. I am he who is known as the Tick. And so I say to you, ask not what your superhero can do for you. Ask what you can do for your superhero. And what you can do for me is watch my show, The Tick, later today on Fox Kids. Ich bin ein Superhero. Thank you. Public transportation. 
Come on, try it out. Give it a whirl. Ah, Scooter, please. You're trying to tell me this, this huge, hideous monstrosity can get me to the other side of the jungle? Yep. Without walking? Ha! Guaranteed, buddy. Come on, hop aboard. Uh, oh, why am I doing this? When is this madness gonna end? Get me to the other side of the jungle. And this thing? Oh, yeah, sure, Scooter. And then you woke up, right? Well, here we go! Ooh-wee, this is fun, Scooter! Oh, slow down! Watch out for the Mastodon! Ooh, I'm sure glad I didn't walk to the other side of the jungle! Ooh, this is so much faster! All aboard, Bill! Next stop! Huh? The other side of the jungle! Almost in range of beehive cannons. I'm so fatigued. Must be the altitude. You pathetic thunder lizards. Are you able to keep up with me? Hey, yeah, okay, we're fine. We fine. Hey, okay, Mr. T-Rex. Don't understand why. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I pity the dinosaurs that use me like a towboat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye on you three while I eradicate those ridiculous little bipeds. I pity the bipeds that mess with Mr. T-Rex. Now with you three all rounded up, bounded up, and shut up, I know I'm not gonna have no problems with this weapon. Just gotta feed in the coordinates. Uh, Mr. T-Rex, sir? Quiet, fool. Can't you see Mr. T-Rex is making precise calculations? But... But the humans, they are... What is it with you, Thunder Lizards? It's time to quit jammering before I start hammering. Now watch and learn, Thunder Lizards. <laughs> what the... Huh? Well, guys, it looks like Mr. T-Rex is a little up in the air about what to do next. <laughs> Thunder Lizards, get me off this thing! Thunder Lizards, I'll get you for this. I'm coming for you, Thunder Lizards. Your tails are mine! <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, what do you want to do now? I got an idea. Let's party! No, I got a better idea. Let's go back to the Jurassic Center and work on the garden. Huh? Thunder Lizards rule! rule. Yay! Yeah. No I can the right. annual. Yeah. Hooray! Oh, earthworms are good. Why won't the hurting stop? Please stop. Sweetie, what's wrong? You've hardly touched your weakest tissue salad and trilo by flambe. Not eating won't help matters. I guess you're right, carnivore breath. Most smart dinosaurs won't believe what they read in the paper or see on TV anyhow. General Galapagos, sir. I'd like to report a minor glitch in my mission, sir. You paleozoic pea brain! Where have you left the thunder lizard? Mr. T-Rex, you rapscallion reptile. So sweet of you to join us. You must try the weakest species salad. It's simply barbaric. Ah! You're simply wonderful, carnivore breath. Galapagos, are the allegations true? Is Dinosaur Society doomed? Is there a military cover-up? Huh? Uh, darling, you have a, a little something...
Why you? The whole of Jurassic Society is waiting for some answers, General! Uh, 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 yeah. This is so nice! I've never felt more relaxed! Oh, it's great not to have that bonehead Mr. T-Rex pushing us around! I wonder what happened to him. Ah, uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> who one of you fools wanna share what's so funny? Huh? Anyone? If I ever get my hands on you, I pity you, fool!